everyone, so eto na nga, dumating na yung Redmi Note 11 Pro na global version but bakit ata maraming dismayado? Well, if you are confused whether to get the global version or stick to the China variant, this video is for you. Both global and China versions have the following specifications. In the camera department, both has 108MP as main sensor with 8MP 118 degree ultra wide and 2MP for the macro lens. In its display, both are powered with AMOLED display and capable of 120Hz refresh rate. Its network, both are 5G capable though the global version offers a lower model with 4G capability only. Both features the same specs like dual speakers, IR blaster, Z-axis linear motor, and NFC. Here's the most controversial part of the specs that makes the buyers raise their eyebrows. Let's start with the design. Both versions still features the flat edge design that gives you the iPhone 13 feels, but the camera concept is like why? Except for the smaller width compared to the China version, the camera on the top is slightly elevated than the other three camera sensors below. This makes the device prone to scratches and more wobbly when placed on a flat surface. You can easily spot the China version because of the silver highlight on the primary camera. In speaking of the camera, a feature you can't overlook is the quality output. Despite of having the same camera sensors, the global ROM can only shoot at a maximum of 1080p at 30fps whereas the china rom can max up to 4k at 30fps this is definitely a downgrade in the world of 4k display tvs laptops and other gadgets this is mainly because of the chipsets capability now down to the chipsets, higher numbers do not necessarily mean higher performance. The global ROM chipset, the Snapdragon 695 5G, still outperforms the Snapdragon 720G and 732G. But given the price range, at least Redmi should have introduced the Snapdragon 750G or the 778G or best would be sticking with the Dimensity 920. Another slight downgrade was the battery capacity from 5160 mAh of China version into a smaller 5000 mAh of global ROM. We should also mention that we haven't seen any JBL trademark so we suppose that JBL audio tuning is only exclusive to China versions. So if you want to experience the MIUI 13 first hand, the global version is perfect for you since the China ROM is at MUI 12.5 out of the box. Of course, we suppose it should receive its update soon. Given the slight changes of the camera concept on the global versions, but having the same camera sensors and resolutions would not bother the buyers for sure. But considering the chipset selection that limits the 4K video capability plus the price point, it is sure a bummer. Not to mention that after the release of the global ROM, developers can now extract the global ROM so China versions can be flashed and converted into global. Nevertheless, specs wise, the China version is the clear winner here. In the end, it would still boils down to your biases and needs. So, you decide. And there you have it. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and hit the bell icon for more updates. See you on the next one. Adios!